I'm making this video for my instructor, Jack, who gave me a nice tip the other day flying with him. So um, I'm about 200 miles outside of Springfield, Missouri, where I'm flying today to go see my parents. And I told my parents I'd be there at 1230, and I've got a pretty good push behind me, about 30 to 50 knot tailwind, uh, depending on altitude and direction. And uh, so I noticed I was going to get there a little bit early. And uh, so I thought I'd play with some efficient cruise settings that Jack told me about. So what I've done is uh, I've got the RP I've got the RPM down to uh, about 2100 RPM. And uh, I'm level at 9,000 feet. And I've leaned the engine to lean of peak. I'm about right now about 50, about uh, 30, 40 degrees lean of peak. And um, that's giving me about 7.9 gallons per hour. Um, and uh, my cylinder head temperatures are around 300. It's pretty amazing, between 300 and 330, which is uh, very, very cool. The engine seems to be running perfectly smooth. And if you do some calculations, I'm truing out at 9,000 feet, a couple degrees negative Celsius, and I'm about 118 indicated. So if I go to my uh, E6B calculator, the pressure here is 30.30, uh, 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 so it's pretty high. Uh, my calibrated airspeed is uh, now, it's about 19, negative two degrees. I'm true at 135 knots on uh, under eight gallons an hour. And uh, with a 30 knot uh, tailwind, about 25 knot tailwind. I'm actually, uh, Victor, go ahead. my ground speed is about, uh, well, my ground speed is exactly 161 knot ground speed. And if you calculate that out, it's about, uh, it's about 20 nautical miles per gallon, which if I had to guess, that's gonna be, you know, around 25 statute miles per gallon, which is better than uh, my car actually quite a bit better than my Jeep Wrangler. So I'm actually cruising en route at 162 knot ground speed uh, at about uh, 25 statute miles per gallon. Like I say, the engine's running smooth. What I'm gonna do, what I wanna do now is at 2100 RPM, I'm also going to uh, take the audio off the video. And I'm just gonna see how easy it is to communicate in here because it's very, very quiet. I'm going to pick up two dogs to fly across the country and I may cruise at a setting like this just so it's easier on their ears. So I'm gonna unplug this and see if I can, uh, what, what yelling uh, does at the camera. Thanks to Jack for having me relook into this. Uh, I'm pretty efficient. And now I've slowed down my time. And now I'm supposed to arrive in Springfield at about 1220. And I don't really think I can slow down anymore. So mom and dad, uh, I'm just gonna be a little bit early, about 10 minutes early today. Uh, it's a beautiful day. They were forecasting a bunch of ice, some turbulence. Um, some uh, IFR conditions, and uh, aside from just a tiny bit of trace ice at one point, um, it's been a gorgeous day. Uh, I just glanced over, and my number two and number three cylinders are now below 300. And number six, they're at two, between 280 and 290 uh, degrees uh, on my cylinder head temp. So this has been a lot of fun. Jack, thank